Oh my gosh, it's been a minute. Hi there, my name is Jazz McDonald. If you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. Today's video is just a vlog. You guys are coming with me on our wonderful day of homeness quarantine. In Ontario, it's still locked down. Hopefully they're opening next week, but as for right now, we are so more than fortunate to have Zoom keep connecting and keep rehearsing and keep doing what we love to do, right? I'm having this Bengal spice herbal tea, which is really nice and warming because it's freezing cold outside. It is like negative 20 or something. Hi, Elsa. I just took her for a walk and it was so cold. Her fur was even freezing. My nostrils were freezing. My eyelashes were freezing. Hello. I have a class at noon and I have a class right afternoon from 1.30 until 3 and then I'm teaching at the dance studio online from 4 until 9.30 and before then I did a little laundry this morning, put it away. I need to shower because my hair is, I'm relying on dry shampoo a lot so I need to shower for sure. But I'm just going to answer a few emails here in comfort and warm up because that walk was cold, wasn't it? It's freezing so I'm going to warm up with pup answer some emails and you guys saw how I do my calendar on my iPad with Xenia, the app. I love using Xenia because it allows me to stay on track of my day and write it out because there's something therapeutic about writing out your schedule. I think it's middle splits. Let me check. I also finished um, uploading a few videos to my YouTube channel and I did a bunch of um, I did a bunch of thumbnails. I can't speak today. My friend splits challenge started this week today. Day five went up and I just had to share that. Really quickly, I responded to a few comments on my TikTok. If you are following me on TikTok, it's J A S S S O M E. But I'm gonna go get ready for class with Sasha. It starts at noon, which is 30 minutes from now. And then I'm going to film a little bit of that because it's torture, but it's 
fun. And then I'm gonna have lunch afterwards. And then I have a class at two until three. And then I start working at the studio from 4.15 until 9.30. And before then I'm going to come up with some curriculum for the students because we have to finish their exams. And yeah, so I'm gonna go get ready. Very quickly though, before I stand up, I just remembered I put out a story on my Instagram the other day asking people their recommendations for workout gear because I have some, but I feel like I've outgrown, especially my sports bras. I need a lot of new sports bras. And I was like, people, what are your favorite ones? Everybody collectively said Lululemon. And I got two or three DMs and messages that I can get 25% off Lululemon because I'm a personal trainer. How did I not know this for the last two years? So I am going on their website. I need new pants too. So I know people said that the Align High Rise pants were the best, but what I like about the pants that I had before, they had pockets on the side and I don't really see any that have pockets. So I'm gonna look at the best sellers. How am I supposed to in a work? and go to a class right now. You're like this, like pushing me into the corner, girlfriend. But no, you chose to sit right beside me. Because no full roller bases, we're just warming up the feet. But should be back on your heels and toes. If you're just coming in, you can take a little bit of shoulder raises. And then you can shift back onto your going to shower just now but I figured the next class I have in 15 minutes a I didn't have a lot of time I'd be late for my class and B the next class I have I usually get pretty sweaty in it's a private and it's jazz so I anticipate that I'll be sweaty so there's no point in showering if I'm gonna get sweaty again so I'll shower right before I have my classes tonight with my students but I'm trying to log into this yoga collective not yoga lululemon collective thing online I don't know what to do I know today has been really boring to be honest, um, but life doesn't get much more exciting than this. And I'm pretty busy now with classes, but I still wanted to take you guys along because it's a long time since I vlogged. So Steve should be home soon-ish. I don't know when, but he was gone for work last night. So I stayed up till God knows when making TikToks. Spending way too much time on that app. It does feel really weird to be teaching on Zoom in our home because we haven't left this home in like a month really. We've been here pretty much since the beginning of the lockdown and pretty much. So we really haven't left. It feels really weird to be doing work like right at my bed. <laughs> I literally do the work right beside our bed. Can dance room in our house is too cold. I wanted to take a moment today while I'm getting ready to talk to you guys to talk about mental health in ballet community. I've been posting a lot on TikTok, mostly talking about my experiences. Now, I loved my career as a professional ballerina, but with it came a lot of hurtful things said, and I think a lot of us can relate to that. And I just want you guys to know if anybody says anything mean to you or anything, you know, that you should change your body or that you're not good enough, don't listen to it because you are. Especially right now, going into audition season, I know I've been dropping a lot of audition content lately and I just want to hop on here quickly and remind you guys not to stress out too much during audition season. If I were to tell myself anything when I was a young dancer, I would say to relax a little bit, takes time for myself while I'm auditioning because there are a lot of moments where all I could think about is what did I look like? I have to eat this so I look good for auditions. I have to be this size. And you can't be in that mindset, that stringent mindset. You have to be this thing, otherwise you're unsuccessful. Because if you're in that mindset, you're just going to make yourself unhappy. The auditions aren't going to be successful if you're unhappy. Be kind to yourself. Practice some meditation, some yoga every once in a while. Not every day has to be drive and push. And this doesn't just go for ballet. This also goes for other careers. I know a lot of people get stuck in this hustle culture. I find a lot of the time in hustle culture and in grind culture, whatever it is, it can be very toxic and very negative because the only exception is immediate success. Success is not just defined by how much you earn. Success is not defined by how many followers you have. Success is defined by how you feel as a person. That's why we're here. We are here to inspire others. Life is so precious and special. It's too short to be wasted 
thinking, I want to look like this. I want to earn this much amount of money. Absolutely go for your goals, shoot for the stars because life is so short. But at the same time, marvel in this moment, young dancers, if you are auditioning, because it is a really special moment in your career and you won't get it back. I mean, you can if you go back. I did, so not that it's never gonna be there, but while you're young and you're auditioning, enjoy the process because there's so much you can learn about yourself and it's not just technique and ballet. Also experience getting to know people, like networking, whatever that is. Realizing that you don't have to stay in your little bubble that is your specific ballet community. A lot of people get stuck in, especially when I was in ballet school. A lot of us didn't see past ballet school. I think a lot of people don't see past high school. A lot of people don't, don't see past college and university. There's always so much more. When you go to universities or when you do job interviews, when you get out of college and university, it's kind of a huge realization that there's this whole big gigantic world out there that you haven't even discovered. Um, even though it might be scary, just enjoy it, especially for auditions. Just enjoy it. Have fun with it. Don't be too harsh on yourself. Probably not going to get everything. And I don't mean to sound negative or pessimistic about it, but I went into it thinking, I'm going to land this. I'm going to land this. I have to do this. And I had that mindset that I had to do it. Otherwise I wasn't successful. And a lot of the auditions I bombed or I didn't even bomb, but nobody was just looking for me at that moment. So I found the right company for me. So it took some time. It took like a year or so for me to actually get a job. That being said, guys, I am pretty much ready to teach. I hope you got something from my little rant. I'm gonna go teach. Guys, I just made a mistake. I showed up to class half an hour early and nobody's here because I'm in class half an hour early. I thought it started at 4.15, but it starts at 4.45. However, because I was pretty early and I am pretty early, I'm going to do the curriculum stuff now that I have more time and go over some new exercises. I'm going to be teaching them. I'm also going to have a snack. Teaching is done. I'm gonna go have dinner and then I'm gonna go to bed. So I'm going to film my outro right now for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little mini vlog. I know I didn't do that much, but I always enjoy taking you guys with me. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and bye now.